Okay, boys, so this is going to be my benediction guide. Um, I'm just going to run through what you need to do if you want to get the star. Essentially, first, you want to pick up your Eye of Divinity, which drops from the chest from Major Domo, uh, with a 50% drop chance. So, it's pretty common, uh, but obviously you're going to have to be rolling against, you know, five, six other priests in your raid to go for it if they haven't got it already, uh, unless you're getting it master booted to you. So, it's it's it'll take you a couple of weeks to get on average, um, but it's not, you know, one of the rarest items in the game, uh, considering how strong it is. Uh, and then the second thing you need to do once you've got your Eye of Divinity is uh, you want to go and farm your Eye of Shadow, which drops from the Elites in Winter Spring and Blasted Lands. Uh, and I believe it doesn't drop from the Fell Hunters in Winter Spring, but ugh, not 100% confirmed on that. We fucking did it! So once you've got your Eye of Shadow, uh, either by farming it or by it dropping, then you want to go to Eastern Plaguelands, and there'll be a, a vendor, sorry, a quest giver there. Uh, which you can only see if you have the Eye of Divinity equipped. Okay. So this was me about... I don't know what time it is now. 48, about an hour ago. Being super clueless. First thing I fucked up is I had the wrong um, nameplate stuff. So they like all overlap and it's like super fucking hard to see anything. But we, we managed to clutch it in the end. And second thing is I like need an add-on or something to see when... When they get a disease, it was super hard to see anything. I didn't stream it because I didn't want to get stream sniped by Horde. And then have to wait for the respawn, which is like 12 hours long. So essentially I'm just using the bare minimum to keep them alive. While chucking out the spells on anyone that gets, gets poisoned. And honestly, most of the poisons I see just from the cloud because I can't fucking see it on my UI. It was super scuffed, but we, we made it in the end. So essentially, you've got to save these peasants um, before they get to like the end here. Um, and you've got to save 50 peasants. I think there's 10 or so. 10 or 12 or so in each wave. How many can I count now? Five. So I think it's about 10 in each wave. And you've got to save 50 peasants before 15 die. If 15 die, you fail the quest. Um, so the first wave's kind of chill, the, the, the skelly archers go a bit ham so they get a bit low, but there's no enemy mobs. Um, and then I'm using Holy Nova rank 4 to uh, to one shot the mobs. I think that's the lowest rank you can use. If you use a lower one then they don't get one shot. So they despawn over there and that's when they, they're considered saved. Um, so these guys are doing alright at the moment, these guys are chill, they're super slow, I don't know who walks this slow IRL when there's fucking rangers shooting at you, I don't know, like sort yourself out. Get some fucking hamstrings or something, I don't know. But yeah, I'm like desperately trying to spot any diseases. Doing okay though. And then my wand is decent enough to usually one-shot stuff. And they randomly pick up new diseases as well, so you need to watch out for that. Um, and, and keep them cleansed as much as possible. And then I'm trying to stay on the right always of them, so that if the mobs do come, then they start attacking me instead of attacking the uh, the peasants. Uh, I'm doing this in the very north, uh, northwest kind of corner of Plaguewood in Eastern Plaguelands. I think I let one die here. I think this is the first one to go. I think I lose one to batching at some point as well. That was heartbreaking. Um, but yeah, the, the foot soldiers are coming a little bit quicker now, and there's like, this they come stacked up, which is kind of annoying because my um, again, it, you need to set your no, yeah your name plates to be like, not stacked, so that you can see everything a bit better. Because here I really had trouble seeing a lot of stuff. I lost a fair a fair few mobs to that, and then some sort of add-on to see the debuffs. I don't know if that's doable with the regular UI, but. They all get hella low here, and I'm like, oom. I, honestly, I'm starting pan panicking a bit at this point. We managed to save most of them on that wave. The mob gives me uh, some mana back as well with that buff. Oh, yeah. I'm popping oil of immolation here as well. 
Oil of Immolation is pretty uh, handy on this because you can kill basically, uh, you know, a wave of skellies without using any kind of global or mana, which is really handy. And it has no cooldown, so you can use it a bunch of times. You can't kill the archers, they're untargetable. Well, they're targetable, but they're not attackable. Yeah, I think that's the first one we lost, potentially. Not sure. I got a bit low, my desperate prayer's not up, so. Yikes. You can't, you, you, you have to solo this quest. I don't think you can see the mobs without the Eye of Divinity, but I'm not 100% sure. Devastating when they die. But yeah, you can see what I mean about the nameplate stacking, it's like, it's a problem. There's a mana pot. I think we saved one because of that mana pot though, so it's not bad. We'll say a low rank of flash heal and heal rank two was just generally pretty invaluable. Because like you don't need to top them off, you just need them to survive. If you try and top them all off, you're just gonna go oom. another oil of immolation it's annoying because it doesn't completely one shot them so you have to tank a few hits I think I'd, I'd pop in another demonic rune here or in a sec yeah I mean if you could kill the archers it would be pretty trivial right that's the whole point of it I think this is the last wave actually. Not 100% sure though. But yeah, I'd say I'd say the main things I lacked was the um, was the sorting out the nameplate so that they weren't stacking, and uh, having some sort of add-on to see the debuffs above the nameplate's head. This is my gear. The use. I just put all my damage gear on for this just to make the Holy Novas do a bit more. And then Holy Nova rank 4, Flash rank 7 and 4. I didn't use 7 much at all. Great Heal 1, didn't use that at all. And Great Heal, uh, and Heal rank 2. And then obviously Oil of Immolation. Then you get this item. Splint of Nordrasil. Benediction boys.